I'm not ready. Please, can you tell them that I'm not ready? Your waters could have broken without your noticing. Oh, is that dangerous? Let's get you settled and then we'll see what's happening. Oh, David, did you hear her? I mean, you need to listen to the pros, Sarah, yeah? Where's my mum? How many times have they done this? Every day, every hour, probably. I mean, this baby's popping out 24 7 round here. Like this one. Don't worry, we'll look after both of you. Oh. Be right here, all right? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Mum said I can have a quarter pounder with onion rings on. Oh, did she now? You're right, Lily, love. Gail, will you phone me back when you get this, please? Oh. Lily, Max, could you pick this up? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm a Katy Perry song, and this is literally my vision of hell. Oh, how happy is Oh, you haven't seen Kylie, have you? Or Bethany? No, sorry, Audrey, I haven't. Oh, any news on Sarah? Yes, I think she's gone into early labour. Oh. Now, Kylie's supposed to be her birthing partner. She's gone AWOL. So has Gail, honestly. So the poor love's left with David to hold out. Oh, great. <laughs> well, let me know, won't you, if there's anything I can do. Oh, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Do you want to go to the hospital? What, with this brood? Well, just locating one member of my family will be a start. Oh, we'll babysit. I'm sorry? What? You, you don't want to look after two kiddies. Then you can go and look after Sarah. Oh, right. Um, oh, yes. Oh, all right, then, yes. Thank you. Uh, but listen, don't let him have his own way. Oh, this one, for that matter. Oh, you're a godsend, Cree, both of you, right? Oh, and uh, please, no onion rings, right? OK. Don't tell me. Pints and peanuts. Something's a quick match. I've only gone up for two beers. Order a round each. I'll get these ones, mate. You chop the board up. What, oh, can I get my peanuts first, please? I'll wait for the lager. How long do you think it takes me to pull a pint? It depends on the pressure you put on the pump. It was one of them questions that didn't need answering, Kurt. Hello, <laughs> Eva. Oh, my... You look amazing! Well, thanks to you, both of you. What about my peanuts? And what about my pie? No, one day I'll make it up to you for helping me, no matter what happens to you. Don't be daft. Anyone would have done the same. No. The Salvation Army help me find somewhere to stay. Food, clothes. Not as pretty as yours, but you know what? It's so good to see you smile. And the best thing is, I'll be home to see my family. But they are okay, I mean. Yeah, I spoke to the police about the threats and they wouldn't uh, hurt him now. How amazing is that? No, that would be amazing. A Let me get you a drink. Yeah. I just came to say thank you and goodbye. Come here. Good luck, sweetheart. You deserve some. So do you. I hope you have a happy life together. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. Let's hope the old Driscoll's get what's coming to him, eh? Uh, throw away the key, the trouble they've caused. Are you, um, are you going back to work? Oh, great. I mean, we can get our drinks now. Mind if I join you, lads? Yeah, of course. Of course. I made that three pints. Some lucky beggar down the charity shop's gonna think they've won the lottery. <laughs> you sure you're ready to let all this go? It's just bits of material, buttons and shoes. And it's what she wanted. <laughs> oh. There's a dress left there. No, not, not that one. Oh, sorry, Freddie. <sighs> it's okay. We were just kids when we first got together. Sadie's parents thought I was a waste of space. They were probably right. I had holes in my shoes and, and an afro, bigger than Burnley. Not ideal husband material. You sound like George Clooney compared to my David. Yeah, but Sadie loved me. I don't know why. But she fought from day one for us to be together. This girl with the world at her feet. Beautiful. Smart. And she wanted me. Well, you're not so bad. I said to myself, I'm going to spend the rest of my life proving her right and that she did not make a mistake. Well, you must have done because she loved you to pieces. 
She always wanted to go to the ballet. You know, the proper one in London. I saved up for months. And then on her 21st, I surprised her with the tickets. So, off we went to Covent Garden. Me, Sadie, and my Afro. Sleeping Beauty, 1973. And she wore that? I messed up big time. I, I borrowed a suit from a mate. But I had not a clue how dressy the ballet was. Oh. Oh, Sadie was furious. Oh. She only packed a skirt and blouse. I can imagine her kicking off. Oh, cursing like a navvy. We had an hour to find a dress. Hardly any cash, I mean. I'd spend it all on tickets, trains and B&B. &B. She found this in a second-hand shop in Soho. She said it reminded her of Veronica Lake. That's a film star from way back. Yeah, that night, I felt like a king. And you know those silly rows you have about buses running late, bills you can't pay? <laughs> they mean absolutely nothing. It's the people you love and who love us. Is all that matters. She was a terrible driver, though. <laughs> You'd rather walk barefoot through a blizzard, <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> it's not right, though. No. My baby's not near her coming. Listen, I'm gonna ring round everybody. I don't think she can go through this on her own. Do you want to uh, maybe go and get us some drinks? Todd. You all right, mate? Yeah, it's just, um... This is bad memories, you know. If it's like this for me, imagine how it is for Sarah. Yeah, well, hopefully she'll be in that much pain. She won't have time to think about all that. I did love her, you know. And I love Billy, too. Right, say what? Something tells me we might be skipping afters. When, 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 when. Even if it's <laughs> sticky, you know, toffee, pudding. How do you know that's my favourite? I didn't, but it's mine. And everybody knows you've got great taste. Oh, have you heard him when we talk about big headed? <laughs> I'm simply pointing out that the lady's got class. What is that offensive these days? I lose touch. Mm, you can offend me any time you like. Yeah. Right, are we ready to order? Apparently the sea bream's off. Oh, um, we've heard, and Andy's already taken her order. Oh, sorry. Yeah, he's gone off, Chef. Let me just check in the kitchen. No amount of bad vibes or dirty looks are going to spoil our evening. To be honest, they seem uh, far more interested in each other, which is a result, because it means that you and I can do the same. Oh, Callie and my mum. Who needs a baby? Try and focus on the end result, Sarah. You'll soon be holding your baby. Listen, I know what you're thinking. Uh, it's not recovering this time. Still bloody cardiac. Mm. There's plenty of places I'd rather be as well. Oh. Hey, hey, uh, me and Todd were leafing through a baby magazine, oh, right? And God apparently... help me, David, please! No, listen, listen, listen. If you sing, it helps with the pain. Where's Kylie? I need Kylie. Look, I, I've got a bit of Drake on my phone if you want to sing along. Sarah, look, we've decided to avoid you and the baby becoming more distressed. Stress? Why? Well, what's the matter? Is the baby well, okay? As the baby's heart rate has dropped, we'd like to prepare you for a C-section. No. No, no, it's not happening again. Sarah, it's absolutely nothing to worry about. No, I'm not having it, David. Do you remember last time? Try and stay calm. I'm not doing it. I just, please, I want to keep trying. I'm afraid that could make the baby even more distressed. This is the best option. You can't make me. I'm not doing it. Can't okay, you just do it anyway? Can't you see she's not in her right mind? Not without her consent. Sarah, come on! No, I'm not doing it! <sighs> Uh, I should be getting back for the kids. I'd really tearing a wig off. Oh, well, thank you for your help today. Oh, I've got to get out of here. Oh, I know it was too much to ask. No, um, my sister-in-law's in, in labour and I'm supposed to be a birthing partner. Can you um, call me a cab while I ring them and tell them I'm on my way? I can do better than that. 
I mean, sitting in the cinema when old hell breaks loose. She's nowhere near a June. Well, you could at least have kept your phone. In the cinema? What were you watching, anyway? Does it matter? Oh, there. Ah, oh, finally. Where is she? Roasting a chicken, where do you think? Is Kylie with her? No, because like you, she had more important things to do. Oh, come on, we can't all drop everything just because the baby might come early. There's no sign of it coming early. No, except for a bump the size of Scotland. Tell that to whoever's cutting her open. Cutting her? Uh, right, we've been trying to get hold of Bethany. Phone's ringing out. How's Sarah? She's having an emergency caesarean. Well, she's supposed to be. What do you mean, supposed to be? Because she's refused it. Oh, that is ridiculous. Where's the doctor? No, I'm going in. Oh, no, no, no. You're getting nowhere. But she's not in her right mind. Mum, she's pushing her baby out. Would you be? Well, look, shall I talk to her? Yeah. You? Yes, she might listen to Todd. I'm her mother. Oh, look, there's no time to argue. Get in there, Todd. Gun's right. Go on. What if something goes wrong? Oh, nothing is going to go wrong. You don't know oh, that. Gail, nothing is going to go wrong. You are a superstar. Listen, I've been thinking a lot out there about what happened to us. Listen, I know you're scared. And I know you think this is easy for me because I'm not the one who has to go through it. But that's a good thing. Because you're braver, aren't you? And stronger. And I'm probably the only one who does know what you're going through. Because I was there. Me, you and Billy. I can't do this again. No, no, but Sarah, listen, this baby isn't Billy. Yeah, and you have to do everything you possibly can to give this one a chance. It has to be OK, and what if it isn't <laughs> OK? Of course it's going to be OK. You are a brilliant mum. Just, just look at Bethany. You did that all on your own. <laughs> and now it's time for this baby to meet his mum. OK? Listen, Sarah, you've got to let him do this. And I promise everything will be all right. Let's get you ready. Yeah, every so day since I've worked there, I've always had for a good few years before right, that. So he has the same thing every day? Yep, he has two mugs of tea and a plain ham roll. Can you imagine that? <laughs> same thing for your dinner week in, week out. What I don't think he's coming in just for his dinner. Oh, don't be <laughs> sad. He's just had his 80th birthday. Yeah, well, I'd still fancy you when I'm 80. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> How about a joke of our own, eh? Steph! Oh. What are you up to? I can't remember the last time I shared a pudding. Yeah, be warned. I'm a quick worker. It's about 30 years, unless, of course, you can't finish off the kids' yoghurt. That's because you've been picking the wrong men. I don't flick through a cat slot and go, deadbeat, he'll do or loser. Yeah, I'll take him. Sounds like a rogue gallery. I'm almost offended to be part of the club. I've not had that many. Mm. I like a woman with experience. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, no, we did. D did you order that? No. It's from Kevin and Anna. Take it back. Well, we don't need to do I that. said take it back. Oh, well, I've opened it now, so they're still going to have to pay for it. I'll pay for it. Pat! You think you're smart? Trying to make a show of me. Oh, sit down there. You're showing up early. Oh, <laughs> you do that again, you'll see who's smart. <laughs> well, you don't scare me. Mind you, intimidating women's more your thing, innit? You better be careful about what you say about me in public. Well, look, we know you're a bully and a cheat. Now we know what you're really capable of, don't um, we? Eh? Pat, look, it's just a bottle of wine. <laughs> Don't drink rosé. <sighs> Sorry, love, just a misunderstanding. <laughs> More uh, and voila! Wow, I wish I could do that. You can. Art is just about expressing yourself. What does that mean? Like this.
Can I try? Yeah. Some green trolley sleeves up. And squeeze. Squeeze harder. That's it. Do you want to go? I beg her some more paper. You can't leave me alone with them. I reckon you're better with kids than you thought. Do I look like I'm good with kids? How is she? Call yourself a birthing pup. Oh, tell me everything's okay. She's having a cesarean. And where were you when she needed you, eh? Typical Kylie. Me, me, me. Please, blame me. She was helping me clear my wife's wardrobe. Your mum, don't have a go at her. It was you who was drooling over Jason's death. And... I'm entitled to an afternoon off. Oh, can I go in now? No, you can't. You're too late. I'm so sorry. Well, it's hardly your fault, Freda. Oh, do you ride a motorbike? I should have been her birthing partner. Oh, yes, if she'd fancy giving birth in a multiplex. Right, none of this is going to help Sarah, is it? And you won't be able to do your Kofi and Ambit when you're halfway across the country. Oh, well, hen and she's off. All you care about is Carla and that overpriced restaurant. Yeah, you're really going to miss me when I'm gone, aren't you? Oh, I've missed these Platt family get-togethers. What do you think I'm moving so far away? You don't mean that. Mm -hmm. Try and be 35 with your mum breathing down your neck. Try it when you're nearly 60. Oh, Gail, just stop. How is she? She's fine. And we've delivered the baby. Oh, is everything all right? Yes, everything's fine. Thank God. Finally, some peace. Hey, do you want to be a cheerleader? Uh, you're around, mate. I'll need something to celebrate with. Oh, uh, I'll get these. Have you got the last lot? Yeah, but I've got to get going anyway. In the middle of a game? Yeah, Fizz has just texted. It's, it's something to do with the boiler. Right. I'll get them. No cheating. For my skills, no need. Sorry. <laughs> Being a Mardi kit. I'm really glad Marta's all right. Seeing her just reminds me of the mess I made. No, it's me that should be sorry. All the hassle I've caused you at the factory. That I'll get it back to how it was, no matter what it takes. It might even be better than before. The factory? Everything. If that's what you want. <laughs> Your throw, boss. <clears throat> Where have you been? The loom. Or are you supposed to wear a nappy when you babysit? We did tell them to express themselves. Oh, how have they got a hold of this? I was only gone five minutes. How could you be so stupid? I told you I don't do kids. If anyone's stupid, it's you for suggesting we babysit. What are you doing? Oh, Ruby wants a beanie out like little what's-his-name Lucas at nursery. It's only going to cost me 75p, this in wool. But that's a hat. Shut up, I'm a beginner. What are you doing back so soon, anyway? There's only so much fun you can have with a fiver, isn't there? Tight, look, I know you're a generous bloke, but that's what got us in this mess. Come on, for now, we're all going to have to get used to this. Look, I don't want Ruby walking around with some hat that's got holes bigger than her head. It's not that bad. I'm going to find a way to raise some extra cash. Yeah, how? Well, that was embarrassing. Absolutely pathetic. Not them, you. Puffing your chest up like a 19-year-old. Where is she with my cat? Mm. I know she'll let you do that. I thought it'd backfire. Well, you reckon? Mm. I'll see Eileen's just seen the real feeling. And she doesn't like what she saw. Maybe they were right about you. There you go. Thank you. You don't mean that, though. Look, I'm sorry, OK? That bottle of wine was like a kick in the guts. Hitting me where I'm weakest. <laughs> the free drink. I lost everything, Eileen. I used to be the one buying all the drinks and not £10 bottles of plonk either. Oh, well, if you've got somewhere else to go. No, I'm not saying that. 
Since meeting you and the job with Jason, I feel like I'm getting the old me back. I've got a spring on my step, a bit of pride. Only for him to knock me back down again. You didn't have to square up to him like Mike Tyson. You played right into their hands. It won't happen again. Look, I'll just, I'll just go. Well, let them win. He's okay. He's fine. Just ready for a sleep. It's been a big day for him. What's that mean? His first day on the planet. You know where I am if you need anything. Something's wrong. And if it isn't now, it's going to be. You heard what they said. Having him a few weeks early hasn't had any effect. Out. No good can come of this, can it? Callum. You all told me I didn't listen. Now I'm just... I'm going to be punished for what I've done. Callum is always going to have the last word. Someone didn't want to miss the party. Him, not me. Is everything all right? I'm just never going to be OK. How can it be? Still to come tonight, as her epic adventure concludes, Davina's in Costa Rica. Life at the Extreme is next. And over on ITV2, Brian's got a bad attitude. We've brand new Family Guy 